Them hard, I should cop me a pair Jordan ain't the only one that's in air As I'm walking upstairs I prefer that you follow me up there But you still gotta know what you wear I'm so glad I was spared YouTube, what's up y'all? It's your boy Truth I'm here man, on Thanksgiving man Giving thanks, happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you out there Appreciate you guys tuning in, subscribing, liking our videos So on behalf of me in fact, thank you guys man Enjoy your Thanksgiving Eat a lot of food, man. Pig out, man. You deserve it. Uh, Cowboys, Panthers, man. We all know Fax is a diehard Cowboys fan. So, you know, Fax Friday will be tomorrow. So, we'll see how he's feeling, man. He might be a little salty after the uh, Panthers put it on him. But anyway, let's get to what we uh, come here for. And that's these reviews, man. If you guys haven't had an opportunity to check out the hologram phone review that I did yesterday, um... Technology, we're gonna do four days of heat because as you guys know it is a lot of shoes dropping over the next um, four days between when yesterday Wednesday today Thursday tomorrow Friday and then um, Saturday man it's just shoes dropping galore so we're gonna try to give you guys a review every day of, of some heat you guys make sure you link you subscribe comment hit that thumbs up button man and make sure y'all um, share this share these videos man but anyway as you guys can tell in the background, man, I got a dope review for you guys today for Thanksgiving. These shoes don't drop until um, next Saturday, December the 5th, but I had to get them early, man. All you OG sneakerheads, you already know what it is, man. Boom. Got that Nike Air Jordan 6 Maroon, man. OG. Nike Brandon. You know what I'm saying? But before we get up into this shoe, you know we got to give you a quick knowledge check. So let's go ahead and break down some knowledge. Starting off with the Air Jordan 6. Shoe that was released in 1991. It was the shoe that Jordan rocked on his way to winning his first championship. You know, on to many after that. But um, it was originally released in three colorways. Um, a black and red. And that was a dirt buck material. And then a uh, white and sport blue and black. That was in the leather material. And these babies here, man, uh, off-white and a maroon, and they was also a leather material as well. Uh, so this shoe did have a little bit of different technology, more advanced than the previous Air Jordans. It had a dynamic fit sleeve to hug the midfoot for um, a snug fit on the, on the shoe. Um, it also had a polyurethane um, midsole and also V-flex grooves in the forefront of the shoe for more flexibility on the court. Um, also had different air pockets in the back and in the forefront of the shoe. So I mean just crazy technology with it. it air Jordan 6 was retro for the first time in the year 2000. Upon retro in, it, in the year 2000 they did remove all of the Nike branding and replaced it with the Jumpman branding. So as you can see here on the lace tab Jumpman there and then also in the back. Not sure if you guys can see that because it's black stitch but it's a Jumpman logo there. And then it was also Retroed again um, in 2002, this time in the low form, the low silhouette, in a lot of women colors and um, women sizes. So this is one of the ones, you know what I'm saying, just a low one there. Also no, no Nike branding on these as well. So, man, now let's check on the Maroon 6s. These shoes were not actually worn by Jordan in a game ever. Um, they were released in 1991, like I said, but he did have them. He did rock them for an ad campaign, and I'll put the pictures up. Um, as you can see, that he's wearing them. Um, this campaign was in the magazine, and you can see he got the matching shirt and the shorts to rock with them. But anyway, it was for an ad campaign to um, show how Jordan was the most sought after and most idolized. Um, Celebrity at the time, even over Madonna and MC Hammer, more people wanted to be like Jordan than, than them. So basically, it was a Q rating, and um, Jordan got rated 53, a Q rating of 53. I guess is what the television shows use. He got a Q rating of 53, and everybody else got the Q rating of 50 or lower. So that's pretty much it for the nice check, and I know you guys want to get into this shoe. So let's do that. Let's get into this shoe. All right, starting off with the box, the, you know, Standard four box, you know, the cement elephant print, so you gotta love that. Um, 
The color code in the box is off white and uh, new maroon. And this was a size 11. The retail was 220. Um, man, so, dude, check it out. Let's just let's just be quiet and just look at this thing for a second. Just a nice shoe, guys. I mean, very simple but very nice. Um, you have your smooth. Um, white upper leather and then your tumble leather here you know where the two three is, is that on the side like i said you have your nike branding which is a big thing for everybody you know a lot of people complaining about the 220 price and they're saying that oh it's too much just for nike branding but you gotta thank resellers for that man i mean jordan gonna eat anyway in my opinion but whatever uh the ferrari lace tab um pull tab here with the maroon there just dope the, you know, perforations on the side. The Jordan tab there, tongue on, right there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you got the Nike branding on the actual lace tab there, which is dope. And then behind it is the Jumpman on there. Now the bottom is, like I said, they stuck to OG on this shoe. The bottom is the actually the um, just the clear translucent bottom it doesn't have the blue tint to it so they did stick the OG on that which I really really like um, go to the inside of it you got your Nike Air branding in the inside also maroon Jumpman on the bottom boom how you like that man it's a dope shoe dude um, maroons on the side maroon on the side back there Man, just a nice shoe. And to be honest with you, man, the quality of them is is very good. The 220 is very, very good, man. I don't see any problems with this pair that I have. Um, let me double check. I mean, just a little bit of pain issues here on the side. Don't know if you guys can see that, but try to get it there for you guys to see it. But all in all, just a dope shoe, man. You guys let me know what you think. Are you gonna, are you gonna pick these up? I'm hearing that they're going to be pretty hard to get, um, but I know Foot Locker, House of Hoops and stuff like that, they will be getting them, and they're going to be available online, not sure if all the bots are going to get them, but man, you guys let me know, it's 220 too much, what you think about this shoe, I love it, I think it's the best pickup of the year, in my opinion, but that's just me, you guys let me know, are you going to get the Aqua 8s that drop on Black Friday, what are you guys doing? Because I know Jordan dropping a lot. So, but hey, it's your boy Truth. I appreciate you guys watching. And you know what? Y'all have a blessed day. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if you're going to try to cop these shoes. Put some comments down there and let us know, man. Is, is this a shoe that's a must-have or is it too much? Um, you guys, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Y'all be blessed. First thing first, let's make it clear Before we hit the field, put them prayers in the air I don't care if you a bear, a beast or a monster Faith of a mustard seed is all I need to conquer Ready for whatever, I'm laced up, suited I know the game plan and we bout to execute it My brother from another mother rock the same color He on the side with me, we just wearing different numbers All we got is each other Now how you like that? An eye for an eye so we watching my back, where the competition at? It's Friday night lights, and this gonna be a battle light.